Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. A slight change of scenery today. Uh, I'm outside the garage, it's a beautiful sunny day and today I'm going to be doing the first in this series of videos about the exhaust on my Honda CRF 300 Rally. For this video today what I'm going to be doing is really just trying to get a benchmark and then I'm going to use this as the comparison for any other exhaust that I look at over the next coming weeks. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do two noise tests. So the first test I'm going to do is the ACU static RPM test. So this involves uh, placing a sound meter uh, 50 centimeters from the end of the exhaust as uh, so that's back 50 centimeters and out 50 centimeters at an angle of 45 degrees and then I'm going to run the engine at 4500 rpm and that's based on a table that the ACU give I'm going to measure the, the the peak volume so the second test that I'm going to do is the ACU two meter max test so this is slightly different where I move the the sound meter two meters away from the exhaust at a height of one meter 35 centimeters off the ground again the same thing 45 degrees back uh, from the end of the exhaust, uh, so two meters back, two meters out to the side. Um, but instead of running the engine at constant revs, I'm going to go full throttle uh, just for one second, just to see how high it gets and measure the maximum. So I'm going to do that test three times. I'm going to do the static RPM test three times. And I'm also going to measure uh, just the sound of the bike at idle. Once I've done this, I'm going to go for a short ride and I'm just going to pick a few places on a nearby hill and I'm just going to ride up it in second gear uh, accelerating. Uh, from a particular marker and then I'll be able to work out how long it takes to reach uh, 30 miles an hour uh, from that. And then I'm going to do the same thing again but this time going from 30 to 50 in fourth and then I'm going to be able to compare that with, uh, with the new exhaust when it goes on. I'm not really expecting any particular power difference when it comes through but in the absence of having a dyno actually doing a, a hill climb in two different gears from two different speeds and measuring how long it takes to accelerate will be a good indication of what the, the real world power change really is. So I think that's it, that hopefully that will make sense. I've got my stuff here, I've got my sound meter, with my extra GoPro so you can see the, the readings as they're coming through. So I'm just gonna crack on, I'm gonna measure up, I'm gonna put these in the right place uh, to get the sound meter in exactly the right spot that it needs to be at, and then I will do my first test. So here we go. So for the static RPM test, it's measured back from the point where, uh, from the end of the exhaust, 50 centimeters back, so that's set to 50, and then it's pretty much, that's good enough from there. So then this end needs also to be 50 centimetres out. So what I need to do now is just to get the end of the microphone here um, on the top of that. There we go, that is good enough I think. So that's all in position. So I'm going to turn the, the sound meter on now. Hopefully you can just about see that, and I'm going to put that on to max. The first thing I'm going to do is just start it up and just measure its tidal. So the max I got from startup was uh, 80, 82 decibels. I'm just going to reset that. Okay, so that's good. So the standard it looks like 74.6 is the, is the idle volume. Okay, I'm now going to reset this and just measure again and see if I get the same number a second time. Okay, so that has dropped slightly. It is now picking up the sound of my voice, which shows just how quiet the exhaust really is. Uh, so I'm just going to try it a third time just for a check. Okay, so what I am seeing is that the first reading I think actually picked up uh, maybe the engine had cooled down a little bit from when I was running it. So I'm just going to run my three settings again. So this is the first one. Okay, so 72.5, even pressing the buttons is triggering a louder noise. So here we go again. So that was about the same, 72.6, 72.7. And third time. Okay, so my three readings then, 72.5, 72.6, 72.7 decibels. That's 50 centimetres away from the end of the exhaust at an angle of 45 degrees. So that's the first test done. So the second test I'm going to do is running it, uh, again, I'm going to do it three times, uh, same position for the sound meter, but this time I'm going to run it at 4,500 RPM. So here goes. There we go, that's four and a half thousand. So 
first reading, 83.5. Then enough for second reading. Second reading, 83.4. And then one more for good luck. There we go, four and a half thousand. And that is 83.3. So that is pretty consistent. So there we go. So, so that's my baseline numbers done for the... Uh, static RPM test. So at 4,500 revs I had 72.5, 0 0.6 and 0 0.7 decibels and at 4,500 revs I had 83.5, 83 83.4 and 83.3. So I think that's a good enough benchmark so when I compare it to other exhausts I'll do exactly the same. And I'm going to reposition the sound meter. I'm going to do the 2 meter max test. So same thing again except this time it's 2 meters out, 2 meters back, 1.35 meters off the ground and it's a uh, 1 second uh, full throttle and just see how much noise it makes. So here we go. Okay, so that's that in the right position. I'm just gonna lift this one up, measure how high I need to go. Let me go a fair bit higher. Okay, so now that's all in position. Two meters back, two meters out to the side, one meter 35 off the ground. So here we go. So I'm just gonna give it a minute or two just to warm up. Here we go, uh, full throttle just for one second. That got up to pretty much 10,000 RPM. Number for that was 96 decibels. So I'm going to reset and I'm going to run it again. Here we go. So this is a full throttle, just a second or when I hit maximum revs. There we go. So that just went past 10,000. And that was 94.4. But maybe because it was 10 and a half, it just gave it that little bit extra before, but I'm going to do it a third time. Here we go again. So this is full throttle for one second. And that hit the ten and a half again. And that was 96.2. So I'm just going to run it one more time because I think that 94 I got wasn't quite as high as the other two in terms of the revs. So here we go. Last one and then I'm done. Full throttle just for a second. Yeah, and that hit ten and a half. And the reading for that one was 96.3 decibels. So that's it, that's really simple, straightforward. Uh, I'm now gonna go and do the, uh, the riding test just to measure the acceleration times. I'm gonna have to go and get changed for that. I might even do it tomorrow, but as far as this video is concerned, it's coming up next. So I'll see you shortly on that, and I will put all of the numbers that I've got from this in the description for the video if you want to use them as a reference for anything else. I'll be back shortly. And like that, in a blink of an eye, suddenly it's the following morning. Uh, I decided that I'd actually do the riding bit uh, the following day because it's such a, a glorious day and I thought if I got out early, um, it's just gone 8.25am uh, uh, here in Edale. So I thought the roads would be a little bit quieter, um, give me a bit more opportunity to do this testing. So at the beginning of the video I mentioned I was going to do second gear uh, roll on from 20. I think from the, the way the, the ratios actually are, I think I'm going to do second gear 20 to 30 and then I'm going to do fourth gear 30 to 50 while going uphill. <coughs> I'm going to try and do both of these on one run because it's, there's a, a marker for the entrance to the village of Edale and then there's a driveway for a farm which I think will be my two start points in each case. Now I'm not going to know the results immediately uh, because I actually need to time it and I'm actually going to time it off, off the video once I've finished and use that for my comparison. But nevertheless it should be a useful way to do it and then at least to understand how the different exhausts are performing from a power perspective. Okay so that is then third gear and it really is, well, maybe I'm gonna have to do 15, there we go, 15 miles an hour 
150 miles an hour, full throttle. Up to 30. There, that's a good speed. It's a good test to do. So for the next one, I'm going to do from 30 and fourth and see if I can accelerate up to 50. So just trying to hold it there at 30. And the timer starts now. There we go, so that was up to 40. So that actually worked quite well. And I can just turn around in here at Chapel Gate. Almost at the sign. Go. Okay, that's great for that one. And then up to fourth gear, and I'm going to do the same. Holding it at 30. Holding it at 30, almost at the sign. Go, full throttle. There we go to 40, so that seemed to work quite well. So the, 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 the splits that I'm going to be doing is 15 miles an hour up to 30 miles an hour in third and then 30 to 40 in fourth. It's so my third and final test again. 15 miles an hour going past the sign. Get that right, here we go. Almost there, and go. Okay, that's hit 30, going up there. So I'll knock it up to fourth. Trying to just hold the speed at 30. Go. Okay. So I'm going to go back. Uh, I'll take the video off the off the GoPros. Uh, I'll try and put some timers over the top, but if not, at least time the um, the speed between passing the sign and hitting the speed as I go through the gears, and then I'll put those in. Uh, I am just going to have one ride up to the top of Mamnik because it is just such a fun day to be out riding. Blue skies perfect temperature, dry roads, not a lot of traffic and this road is just so much fun to ride. That's it, that's my video measuring the sound coming out of the stock exhaust on a Honda CRF 300 Rally. It's the same exhaust that's on a Honda CRF 300L, so the same would apply for both. I've done those two ACU tests, the static RPM test and then the two meter max test for just one second on full throttle. And I've also done a few, a few runs uphill in different gears just to check the acceleration. The acceleration was a bit hit and miss just because it's hard to gauge the actual speed from the speedo, but being able to do it frame by frame on the video, I think I was able to get reasonable. Uh, timings for that. Only time will tell uh, when I get a new exhaust on it and to see how that differs. So if you're wondering why I've gone to all this trouble, and it is a lot of trouble just to know how loud an exhaust is, uh, we have an ongoing battle in the UK uh, to keep the trails open. The trails are shared with horse riders, uh, walkers and dog walkers. People are always looking for reasons to try and close the trails down to motorcycles. So as far as possible it's good not to be too antisocial. We want to be able to keep the trails open and we have to share them with people. So whenever you see a discussion about a new exhaust in the UK quite often one of the first questions is how loud is it? People will often say it's a little bit louder than stock or it sounds good but good is very subjective and in a lot of cases people just want to have quiet exhaust. Now the stock exhaust on the Honda CRF 300 Allen Rally is quite heavy, so I'm hoping that by switching the exhaust I can find something lighter, but also one which isn't a lot louder, uh, which will only add to the case to close the trails down. Last thing, uh, I do have a new exhaust. I have a Moto X exhaust which has come from Thailand, from Bikers Bits. I think they're made by TNT Components. I'm going to be installing that over the weekend. Uh, once that's installed I'll be doing a similar test to this again, and off the back of that I will be able to let you know just how much louder or quieter or whether it's the same as the stock exhaust. That's it. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this has been interesting and useful and if it has please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.